Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your Friday morning out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Later on in today's show, I'll be talking with Tom Oosterhout from Conk Color, along with local jazz saxophonist Amy Lee. But first, I'm going to kick off the show today by talking with an amazing artist that you will find right here in the Keys, Michael Palmer. Now, he has been painting professionally for over 50 years now. His work is collected both here in the States and abroad. This man has raised the bar in the local gallery scene. He's listed in the prestigious Who's Who in Art, and fortunately, we can view his work right here at the Gingerbread Square Gallery. Michael, it's such a pleasure having you on the show with me today. Well, good morning. Thank you. <laughs> I love your work, Mike. I've been looking at some of your past paintings, and I think it's just beautiful. So. Thank you very much. How did you choose Key West? <coughs> I chose Key West after making a couple of visits back in the 70s, and uh, ultimately, I think I moved here the first the first time in 85, and uh, it's a great place to come and work and relax where nobody really asks questions about anyone else mm -hmm. and pretty much as we all pretty much know now Key West is anything is fine in Key West mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I just enjoy it because of the weather and because of the people. Okay and you spend some time here in Key West but then also half of the year in Maine as well. Right, right? I do I spend um, the warmer months of the year in Maine and uh, the colder ones here. I'm on the coast in both places because I have to be near the water. Mm -hmm. You love the water. Right. Now, Mike, I mentioned that you've been painting professionally now for 50 years. Yeah, I started showing um, a few little paintings in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, it took off from there. Mm -hmm. Where would you say your career really took off at, Mike? Probably not until I got into New England. Um, there's a very large concentration in fine arts in New England, and uh, a lot of really well-known early American artists uh, were centered there. And uh, because of the galleries that are everywhere and the museums that are everywhere, a lot of people in the whole country and internationally come to that part of the world to uh, to see artwork and that's where I really got more exposure and got professionally going okay. as it were. What would be your favorite subjects to paint Mike? They vary. In Key West mm -hmm. I paint the figure. Um, most often they happen to be African American because I enjoy the whole relaxed attitude um, just the whole laid-back, come-what-may attitude, and that interprets physically with the figures that I see in Bahama Village and around town, other parts of the, of the world too, but uh, particularly in Bahama Village. Um, other places I paint a very m more abstract, um, geometric combination of landscape and architecture. Mm -hmm. So it varies a little varies. bit. <laughs> Mike, I mentioned earlier that your work is widely collected both here in the States and abroad. And someone who has a few pieces of your work is Bill Cosby. What did you think when he, you found out that he collects it? It was a surprise. Um, there are a few people who have some celebrity to their name that have bought work. And you're, you're always surprised when someone of note mm -hmm. buys work. It's always flattering. Mm -hmm. um, but um, you sort of uh, wonder how they happen to have come, you know, come mm -hmm. by seeing your work. Mm -hmm. Well, it's beautiful, so I know why he has it. <laughs> now, let's talk about your show that's actually going on right now at the Gingerbread Square Gallery. Right. It will be lasting until the twentieth. In that right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are the pieces that we would find in this show? Well, you find. I think in all, originally there were about 35 pieces in the show. It was kind of a large show, and it, that runs from quite large work, which is, say, four feet by four feet, to very small work, which is only like eight by 12 inches. Mm -hmm. um, I would say the majority of the work is figurative, having to do with uh, 
um, not necessarily, but the feeling of Bahama Village in Key West. And there were some of the more abstract pieces. Um, it's all fantasy. Nothing actually exists. You wouldn't find anything that in the painting that you could go walking around and put your finger on and say, that's mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. because everything comes out of my head. I work from design to subject matter. and. Uh, so the design is really the most important thing. Okay. Now, Mike, before we go today, do you have some advice for younger artists who are just getting started in their career? I do, and particularly for the parents. If the kid shows an interest, just let them go. Don't push them either way. Um, and for any young person themselves, don't worry about it. If you're an artist and that seems a little weird to some of your friends, it's their problem. And just let it go with yourself and it will develop on its own if you're serious about it. Mm -hmm. it, won't, uh, it won't go away. And uh, be happy with it and just relax and enjoy it. Wonderful. That is great advice, Mike. Thank you for being on this well, morning you. and sharing your work. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I will be right back after these messages with jazz saxophonist Amy Lee. Don't go away. <laughs> 